Hey, Bama's here. Cheers, how's it going, buddy? Thanks for coming by the program. Just getting everything set up and sharing and all that. Oh, there we go. There's a little audio for you. Cutting this red topaz. Let me know if that's too loud. Hope you're having a great evening. It's good to see you. What you been up to? Actually, let's go ahead and uh, make sure I get this sheriffified. Christina and Son Ghost Squad. Hello. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you for stopping by the program. We're shaping some topaz this week. What are you up to? Bama Mud Mower's doing great. Glad to hear that. Working on some mowers. Dude, it's, hey, we're getting, I mean, I know it's January. I know it's, you know, cold outside and snowy, but this is our opportunity time, right? This is the time when we, I mean, because we got four weeks, five, five, we got a certain number of weeks, and then it's March. And I mean that March, that's the time. I mean that's when you you fire it up. That's when you turn. You know, March is when my gas tank valve goes from cut off to turn it back on again. <clears throat> then I fire them up, and get them running, and and uh, you know that. I mean it's it's that way for the chainsaw. It's that way for the weed whips. It's that way for the lawnmower. You know, it's 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 that way for. Uh, Hey, that reminds me, Bam. Do you ever use any of them rear wheel steering tractors? I'm I'm not talking about the zero turn. I'm talking about the ones with the gimbals on the rear wheels and they, the back. Cause I got one of those, and man, that back end is all dented up like crazy. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> John Cochran's here. I wish it would snow in my town. Then you, John, you got to get all your cones set up in racks, and then you set all the cones out. And then when it snows in your town, then you can have a whole racks of snow cones, right? Yeah, then you just got to add the flavoring. Working on music for my channel. Because I don't want to get... Co oh, yeah, because I mean, because there's two things, right? There's copyright strikes and copyright claims. But they're both things that you want to like, if you're going to... Well, I guess the copyright strike, you don't, there's no permission there, but the copyright claim, that's okay, but like, it's, it's good to have somebody's permission so that way they don't strike it, they'll just claim it, but then again, I mean, because the claims are okay, it's like you can, you can work with other people's material and then you share together, but at the same time, you don't want the strike, so it's good, it's, it's good to check on that and, you know, work on that and, I can appreciate but on a high note, I learned how to make music. Hey, that's fantastic. I was just talking to somebody who was making some music, and, uh, man, they they did a great job. I'm, like, I'm not surprised, but, like, I'm, I'm, like, wow, that's really good. Especially for your first try at, like, plugging two things together. Um, it was country and, uh, rap. And... I really like it, man. I'm, I listened to it a couple times. I want to listen to it again. John, you can have my New York snow. Oh, no. Oh, no. With that snow. The New York snow. Oh, it's so thick up there. And it's so packed in because you got stuff everywhere. And there's no place for extra stuff. And then you got a whole foot of stuff everywhere. It's, a, it's extra stuff, and there's no place for it. And it's heavy. I mean, it's light, but it gets heavy quick, especially that, man, that little, like, that fine little sleety snow that comes in. So I was dealing with that. I was out there going, shuck, 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 because there's all that sleety snow and everything going on. And Yep, that's, that's, Doug, that's, Doug. That's why I'm ready, man. I'm ready for some spring. I'm ready for some March. I'm ready. And, I mean, really, it's April. April's when you really get the mud. But, I mean, March is when you start getting things out and fired up. And <laughs> that's when I actually thaw out. Like, my knees thaw out. And I can get out and do stuff. And we 
M I T get some here in Talladega, Alabama, sometime this week. Might we Morrison Institute of Technology get some here in Talladega? Oh wow, some snow. Oh no, that's a thing. Dead. LOL. Oh no, John. That that well the thing is the snow cones. If you if you eat too many snow cones when it snows outside, then you will be dead. Yeah. Can you believe that people order ice cream when it snows outside? I can, because ice cream is <coughs> ice cream is delicious. It's so delicious that my, my Mountain Dew palate got jealous. It wants a drink. Cheers. Mm. Hey, no way. Page Farms is in the building. Which reminds me, we're going to feature Page Farms in a couple of weeks here, because I, I cut a, a couple of gems... And I can't wait till he gets them. I want to see what he thinks of them. Then I'm going to post the pictures. But I'm not going to post the pictures till after he gets them because I want to be a surprise. 22 gems for the win. Can we still do this? Can we enter this command back? Boom, like that? Or is it this one? B A K M. Warp. There we go. <clears throat> that is exactly what we had yesterday. Slushy. Yeah. Oh, man, and then what, like, okay, so, Christina, like, we had the snow, and then it rained, but the rain wasn't enough to melt the snow, so it made it this, like, crunchy ice with the soft snow on the bottom, and you're like, chuck, 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 as you're walking through it, and it's like, my, my foot sinks down, and then I, it gets caught under the edge, and I gotta yank it back up, and the ice goes, floof, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fun, but... It's not fun when I have to shovel it. Get out there and shovel it. And actually, that's what I do, is I, I shovel it. I mean, I was like, hmm, we could get a blower, but really what it comes down... Uh-oh, did you get nabbed? Streamlabs is like that. Why did they nab that? I'm sorry, Christina. Whatever it is with my Streamlabs, I gotta fix it so that it will work to not ban you and your lovely comment of right I hate that that crunchy topped snow it's um whatever I was talking about things and like the worst part is after that crunchy top on the snow it got like really cold out so now it's all sticking around and I got piles of crunchy snow and I had to like chunk chunks of ice off my car windows. Don't you love the winter? That's why we're excited about the spring. Speaking of spring, it's going to be time to spring them plants out of the ground. Who's who's in the mood for some rhubarb and some strawberries? Those are always early. Which reminds me, before I forget, stone of the week. Oh, I'm supposed to share the show. Dagnabbit, I'm supposed to share the show on because Chris asked me to share the show. He did. He's awesome like that. He's like, please share the show so that I know when the show is a show. Because we're only live for an hour a week. I love you all. I wish I had more time to spend with you. I really do. And that's why I love to talk to you out in the, in the YouTube land, out in the chats and everything. I really don't have a lot of content, but I do have some jokes. I got some jokes for the joke portion of the program. I totally got some jokes this week. And I think I'm getting better at writing them. I hope. I hope. I'm a lot more awake, too, instead of doing the show at 11 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock? I would be good, I promise. Oh, don't worry. Christina Streamlabs, I don't think it actually times you out. It just says that. And I don't even know why it does that. I think I was just, like, clicking stuff, and, and I don't know, I clicked the automatic stuff. You, you, you're great. You just keep on being fantastic, and um, I'm ready for spring planting. Gromies homies is here. We gotta have Gromies on panel. That'd be awesome. I only missed five mints. Yeah, and they were they they weren't peppermint scromies, they were spearmints. I don't know what you all think at home, but peppermint's the better one. Now double mint is actually pretty good. I do appreciate some double mint. But peppermint, mm, yeah. You think about it. You ever see any spearmint candy canes? That's another topic. <clears throat> I uh yeah, I'm ready for some mints. Five mints. That's what we were talking about. Springtime. I actually grow spearmint. I have spears of mint. And actually, I, I mean, I like it, but uh, 
you know, I, I don't use it for anything. I probably should use it for seasoning or baking or maybe I should bake. I don't know. I need someone to bake who knows how to bake and bakes things that are worth eating. I love peppermint in my latte. Yummy for my tummy. I was going to say tummy, but then I read yummy. And it wasn't my dyslexia. It was probably my dyslexia that made me want to say tummy. Which reminds me, my tummy likes Mountain Dew. I hope yours does too. Cheers. Mm. Really? Are we done with that bean already? Because I got, I pushed a whole bunch of these pieces of topaz. Look at this. Um, going to rub a little bit of my Mountain Dew condensation water on it so you can see the the calico in this see that 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 brown and white it's it's going to be a cow gem it's a cow gem Mwah. isn't that going to be cool so uh, that's the video is i push all these different pieces and so that's how we get a little bit confused about the bean which is what i call this i call it the bean because it was it was a little roundy norbular ball like a sea glass ball but it's actually topaz and so I, I was like all right we'll just shape this little bean and that's what it turned out to bean that's that's what it has turned out to have been I just watched wait did I miss anything I hope I didn't because you guys are great I love you guys thank you for coming by which reminds me I just watched a video on how to make cake without an oven and very little ingredients wait Wait, without an oven, are they talking about like one of those sun cookers? No, I know what they're talking about. They're talking about where you make a cake out of uh, Rice Krispie Treats? That doesn't count as a cake. Oh, I know, Christina. Here's what they're talking about. They're talking about a practical joke. Y'all, I hope you've never had this practical joke. It's not a very fun one. So you, you, what you, okay, what you do is you take a, a six-pack of cans and you put it inside of a paper bag and wrap the paper bag up, right? And you put that down and then you frost it with frosting. And so you're like, hey, here's a cake. Happy birthday. And then you give them a knife and they go to try and cut open the package of cans and it goes. Psh! It's a very not a nice practical joke because the worst part of it is you don't get any cake. There's just no I mean, you got frosting and soda. But no cake. So sad. I remember. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys a little deep into the history of old Jake Bud here. Okay, I was probably five years old or so, but I remember I remember this specifically happening. I was over at. Okay, I know now. I didn't know then, but I was like, okay, it's family, right? Now I know it was my great grandmother's house, and my gr my not my great grandma, but my my grandma's sisters daughter gave me this can of nuts and she was like hey can you open this for me and I'm a helpful guy you know I'm gonna open this I'm gonna open this can and and uh, she's like if you open it you can have some and so I'm trying to open it and I'm like five and my fingers are weak and that's none of your business but anyway I'm trying to open this can and I, I gave it back to her I was like hey I can't open it it was a can full of them spring snakes still to this day I'm wondering, like, not me, not mentally, but my tummy, every time I think about it, my tummy is like, oh, where's my nuts? Where's my sugary honey roasted nuts? There was supposed to be candy in there. Where's it at? And I don't know. I don't, because it was a practical joke, but it didn't work because I couldn't open the can. <laughs> they put it on to, I think she actually, like, loosened it up and handed it to me. And then I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw it was loose, so I kind of, like, eased it open and I was like well, where there's stuff in here where's my food <laughs> I want my food <laughs> no 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 the stove top uh oh that's what we gotta do is put the can on the stove top heat it up the hot air will pop it out and then you got springs then you can cook the springs on the stove you can have yourself roast spring and it'll be springtime not the real springtime that we're getting excited about but it'll be it'll be a spring 
time, it'll be a springy time, because you'll be eating springs at that time. Hey, Perth Observer is here. No way. Hi. How's it going, Perth? It's awesome. Did she open it for you? Yeah, she did. She opened it. Yep. <clears throat> she opened. She op opened it most of the way. I think. Um. I think I was told to like have someone else open it, and then they didn't open it. They sent me back into the kitchen, and I was like, "Hey, here's this thing," and then she like. I don't know, cause they were the adults were talking, and I didn't know what was going on. It's it's those young memories, you know, like like when when you see a, a bottle of schnapps with apples on it, and you're like, oh, apples, those are delicious. It's just part of, you know, not being clued in. Cheers. <laughs> oh yeah, we can switch the video over to the other video. Because there's three videos, right? The Imperial Topaz, and then, like, the last video is only, like, a few minutes long. There we go. Oh, look at this one. It's got rainbows. Look at those rainbows. How am I going to not screw up those rainbows? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys. No, I'm not going to show you guys because it's not here. It's over in the safe. But that one, it's okay. So it's like... It's like this, right? And the rainbows are on here, but they're actually, the rainbows are in the middle, and there's a cleave right there, and that's what causes the rainbow, because inside the stone, it goes like, and then there's moisture in there, and that makes the rainbowness. So I can't actually split it. If you notice, there's a light side and a dark side, and that's where the rainbow is. Well... I guess we're going to have to just figure that one out some other time. So I'm not sure what to do to keep the rainbow, but that's like natural mystic topaz. Mystic topaz can be made, but it's titanium coated. So it's treated. This is natural right out of the ground. This is an alluvial topaz. And it's beautiful. Oh yeah, you guys get gems too. You can do this. And you can do... Yes. Hey, 710 is here. Awesome. Right on. And do that while we're thinking about it. Because that's my problem. Sometimes I don't think about it. Rainbowness. The rainbow awesomeness. It is. It's oh man, it's great. I'm look at I'm looking at it. I'm like, how do we deal with this? And there's a little bit of rainbow on the back side, but it's not like the rainbow on the front. I'm not sure how to deal with it. And like, like this big piece, it looks easy, right? Because it's got a little bit of problems on the side, a little bit of problems on the bottom. You grind them out, you're done. But actually, I can show you that one because it's right here. Okay, so the problem with this is, notice notice how it's, it's, it's red along here, and then it skips a spot, and then it's red up along here. That's not the... the that's not facets or anything. That's because the coloration is along this edge and over here. It's very zoned, which basically it means that if I grind this down, no more color. Gone. El Gonzotron. That's the problem with that. So we have to, that's what I'm trying to do with this topaz is figure out how do I keep the color. And then the neat thing is, like, let's say that I got a, a gem, right? And and you're looking, you know, you're looking at the gem like this, and there's color on one side, like 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 this along here, like you saw, but there's no color over here. As long as I get the angle on these guys right, then the light will come down and reflect that color back, and it'll spread it out. It's it spreads it out nice and even. It's all about cutting it properly to get the maximum spread off the ground into our pocket oh dude that that's the neat thing so what I what I meant by alluvial and mushroom mushroom John Cochran he's awesome which reminds me John I'm gonna forget I owe you some tanks so next time we're over at the generals channel moderator one reporting to smoke it's awesome so what, what, what Gromies, what did you say last time you were like stoner one reporting for Debbie, or dab, dab duty, dab, dabbing, yeah, dabbing for duty, stoner one, or dabbing for duty, or dabbing for, anyway, 
Um, I was talking about stuff. Stones in the news. Do I have any stones in the news? Um, I don't actually have any stones in the news. I should be more prepared with news that is stone related. Um, I guess I can kind of tell you guys about the upcoming features. I mean, I, I oh, you know what? Actually, I was thinking, and you guys are going to get a kick out of this because I want to make them entertaining. Don't you remember back when commercial and I don't know, it's kind of hard to remember. Don't you remember when commercials were entertaining? <clears throat> so I had some lovely people give me some shelf space, and I was like, man, could you imagine if I just ran a commercial in the middle of the show? I could just be like, all right, we'll be back after these messages. <laughs> I'm not very good at spots, though. I can't. I'm not. A, I'm not a spot guy. Maximum spread streamyards did give you a warning for that one. Maximum spread. Oh, spread. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that spread, especially if it's a a bird type of spread. Not sure what type of bird. Maybe an eagle. Anyway, that reminds me. We're getting close to the joke portion of the program. Christina, did you know we have a joke? Or you probably do. You're, you, you're smart. You know everything. I don't. That's why I forget stuff a lot. Look at this piece. Okay, so this piece is Imperial Topaz. This It's all Imperial Topaz, but this is what's called Golden Imperial Topaz. Now, this piece has a lot of cracks in it. It just, you know, that's the way it works. It's not worth much. It's worth something, but the point is, if you can get yourself like a one carat of this stuff with no flaws when it's professionally cut, you're talking like $400. Yeah, for a piece this big, problem is this one's got splits in it, but I w that's why it was given to me to experiment with, so that's why I'm, I'm learning, and yeah, actually I want to make a feature out of that, because I cut another piece. I also hit the microphone with my finger because I am moving around and talking with my hands. We're almost, man, we're almost done with the show. Um, but we got to get to the joke portion and the shout outs. But first, I want to show you, okay, so these are Peridots and it's not supposed to look like a face even though it does. And it's Gem Face. Hi, I'm Gem Face. It's nice to meet you. And that one's an Imperial Topaz. It's, it's not coming through very good, but the goldiness is... Look at the goldiness of that. That is gold. The problem with that one is... Crack right through the middle. You can't see it until you turn it, but it's big old honking crack. It's going to just... You never know. It's going to split apart, and then I'm going to be like, man... Perth's ready. <laughs> She's Perth has the, has the frog eagle. I mean the spread frog. I mean the frog spread. Is that anything like Vegemite? Which is actually delicious, by the way. Why, thank you. I am blue. I'm blue. Blue for you. Wait. Fall Dog made it. Hey, that's great color. Thanks, Fall Dog. I appreciate the compliment. Well, actually, I, I mean, you know, it's not me, but it is me because, I mean, the stones, they got color, but it's all in how you turn it. I'll even show you an example, Fall Dog. Okay, so there was a stone, and it was like... It's like, okay, so topaz grows and it cleaves this way. It has a, a, a weak spot on a flat plane. And that's my hand going, boom, boom. But anyway, um, so I was looking at this piece and I was like, ooh, that's got good color. And I was like, I'll just, I'll cut the back to the 45 so you'll see the good color. And when I was cutting it, one of the 45s had better color. So I turned it. And look at what I ended up with. So a little bit of the color has to do with what I do. Look at how rich that is. It's got the yellow. It's got the orange. It's got the red. It's got the brown. The beauty doesn't even fully come through. It's not very even, though. It's not done. That's why it's not the feature. The bean is. But it's, it's, it's close to being done. I'm going to straighten it out along with this piece of aquamarine. What do you think of this color combo? Nice little blue and red color combo. Yeah, it's not coming through on the camera. One of these days, which reminds me, as soon as I get this grouping of gems done to send to Farah, I'm going to bug her for a camera. I'm going to be like, Farah, 
you said I was supposed to tell you about the camera. And she did. She's so sweet. She's like, hey, tell me about a camera. I'm going to get you a camera. And she was awesome like that. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I've been supposed to get her some gems. And I'm working on some gems. Look at these boxes of gems. Farah, I know you're watching, or maybe you're not, but if you are, look at these gems. I got all these, and they're not done. These are unfinished projects. I got to go polish them up and straighten them out, and that's where that's the hard part. It costs so much time to get them straight and polished and looking good, and then I got to send them out because I want to get, I, I don't want to just be like, oh, okay, give me a camera. I'm going to be like, here's your gems, I promised. Ah, shower me with love of a camera if you want to, but actually, I, I don't... <laughs> See, the, the other problem is I don't know about a camera. I'm like, I've been looking at cameras, and I shopped for cameras, and I tried to get a good cameras, and I wound up with this, this cameras, which has actually been a pretty well-behaved camera. I think having the light on helps. The fact that I've turned the camera so the light's not in it and you're not getting glare means I can have the light on, and now it's not... I'm going to do this. Is this it? Is that the command? Glitch cam. Yeah, something like that. That has great color. You t you told me when I came in you were going to have a joke. Yeah, we got a joke portion, Christina. We're almost to that too because this video is about done. So after after I usually there's about three videos. After I run the two videos, then I have the joke portion and run the third video. Because the joke portion is an intro, and the intro, um, I use the same player, I use k -Lite. And it's cute. Nice, Topaz. Thank you, thank you. You have a lot of crack rock. <laughs> 710, you too, buddy. Which reminds me, after the joke portion, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about 710, because we got some pictures that we got to talk to 710 about. 710's got some gems in the house. Yeah, bro, trippy. Dude, <clears throat> Fall Dog, I hope you saw that uh, rainbow topaz, man. That thing was freaking trippy. That rainbow in there, it's like, because the way, the way that it does it, it's all because of the water and the, the crack, and it's all contained, and it's like, I mean, you can get other topazes and stuff, and the crystals grow like they do, but... To get that kind of a, a rarity, it's you know it's a one-time piece. I mean, how how often do you run into rare imperial brown red topaz oh, with unnatural rainbowiness? It's fantastic. Cookies, yum. Seven ten. I eat gems like cookies, and actually I love cookies. Okay, seven ten. Here's my theory. There's pie people and there's cake people. Some people would prefer a slice of pie. Some people would prefer a slice of cake. And it can change. I mean, someday I'm a pie people, someday I'm a cake people. But there's always a cookie for someone. There's even vegetable cookies. That's right. There's a cookie for everyone. There's fruit cookies, there's chocolate cookies, there's nuts cookies, there's soft cookies, there's crunchy cookies, there's creamy cookies, there's jelly cookies, there's sugary cookies, there's frosted cookies, there's drizzled cookies, there's glazed cookies, there's sandwich cookies. I love cookies. It's a total uh, Forrest Gump moment with the cookies. And shrimp cookies. I don't know if there is, but... There might be beautiful rainbowness. Did not see Fall Dog. It's it's man. I I was not holding it up because it's over in the safe, but <clears throat> I gotta get the rainbow one. It's on the video. It's on one of the videos. Either way, there's videos. Nice Fall Dog. I love them colors. Yeah, the rain the rainbow. I got one of amber trikes on cookies over here on my side. Ooh, that cookies. Nice. Amber ones too. Fall dog. Dude, nice grow, man. Cheers. Great plants. Awesome. Bubba Gump. I've actually been to Chicago and I ate at the Bubba Gump restaurant, but it was it, it, I mean shout out, but at the same time. Well, okay, I mean, it was bar food. It's, it's bar food. It's bar food. It's a nice place. It's a nice restaurant. How's that sound? It's a, a great atmosphere. But the thing is, okay, so let me tell you why why it's like that kind of a review 
and it's not even their fault. It's because I went to this restaurant and somebody, and it was like a work-related thing, big old table, extended table, banquet room thing, somebody on my end of the table ordered calamari. And it came out, it was nice, big calamari rings with marinara sauce, and you know me, I'm going to try me a meat, so I tried me some squid meat, and it was good. It's kind of like clam meat, except it has a noodle texture, like like you know, like a soft noodle. Yeah, it was it was good. And then so I'm at Bubba Gump Shrimp on a different company trip, and I'm like, ooh, calamari, and it comes out with these little rings of breaded stuff that are chewy, and flavorless, and disappointing. Oh, that reminds me. Talking about disappointing, it is now time to prepare for the extremeness of the joke portion of the program. Let's see what I got for you this week. I probably have jokes for a portion of the program. I actually, I saved up all my jokes because, folks, we tried to do the show last week. Oh, and I got pictures of Chicago to show you. Yeah. Um, I tried to, I tried to, uh, I was going to do two shows because we didn't get to do the show last week because of network problems, but I was like, all right, I'll break my jokes into two, but since my jokes are pretty bad, I'm going to give you two weeks worth of jokes. Ready? What? Okay, so this is, um, and also we talk about the jokes to, to learn. Okay, so for those who don't know, this is a Christmas E joke. That's how far back we are. And it talks about the Magi. Now, the three wise men that visited the, the manger, um, the mangy manger, the three wise men are called the Magi. And, and, and it is a long stretch for a joke, but anyway. What do you call the mothers of the three wise men? Mother Magi. Mother Mother Maid Mother Magi. Alright, we're moving on from that one. What type of beer do lumberjacks prefer? Lager. It's too obvious. What type of salt does a computer use? I see salt. Ooh, what do spies wear? Spyware. I don't do push-ups. I do pop-ups. Click, 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 click. Set. Click, 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 click. It's, it's a joke. I'm telling you. It's the joke portion of the pro... Which Star Wars character is from Florida? Orlando Calrissian. It's too easy. Is an open buffet considered a seafood restaurant? Alright, so I got a couple other jokes, but right now I have a joke that, it's a three-piece joke, and Mother Nature actually helped me with this joke. Much Okay, so Perth, Observer, much love to you for helping with the joke, and True Patriot and Wobbly Boost also helped. So shout out to all of them for helping turn this joke, which I'm going to start with the first one and give you the last one, from the first one into the last <laughs> Okay, the first per, first part of the joke. Why does the door have wings? Because it's a condor, which is a type of bird. So they helped me make the joke better. Here's the second version. How did the jailbird escape? Through the condor. And then the last version, I think, works the best. Why did the jailbird escape through the door? Because it was a condor. Yeah, that's my favorite version. I think that one's the best so far. It could be changed a little bit, but it works for now. And let's see. Why do they call it Windows? Because when you... Oh, okay. I was thinking of the program, but okay. I'm talking about the actual glass. Okay, so why, do they, why are they called Windows? Because when you run into them, you say, Toe! I gotta work on that one. Here's the last joke. Why did the person tell the truth after drinking tea? 
because it was honesty. And that is honestly this week's joke portion of the program. Thank you for joining us for this week's joke portion where I bring you fresh jokes, not from the internet. I try my best. Sorry for your ears. Hey, we got all kinds of awesome people in the house. In the house. We're going to start the gem video again if I can remember how to do that. Okay, this is the end of the bean, the topaz bean. This is where I kind of finish it out. It's pretty much there. It's a trillion with a brilliant top, nine mains brilliant. You know. Wow, we got awesome people in here. These plants are dope. Well, yeah, they are dope. <laughs> They're dope plants. Dope, dope plants. No calamari. Any of those, Christina? Yeah, not the cow. You, hey, you know, smoke calamari. That would be interesting. All oh, right, the Chicago picks. New York, still not legal. But at least you got snow. I mean, you can make some snow cones. Those are legal, right? Yeah, we can. Uh, snow cones are legal. Cheers to Mother Nature. We got to put her thing in the description. Rita's Juicy Life is here. Hello, handsome brother. Cheers. Rita, I hope you stick around for my Chicago Pictures Tour. We're getting to that shortly. I got the Chicago Pictures Tour, right? And I'm going to move this picture. Pop. And you'll be like, hey, that's my house. <laughs> Camera is glitching. Yeah, it'll do that. Sometimes we glitch. I don't know why it does it. I think it has to do with the lighting, but then again, maybe not. I don't remember. But we're working on that, and actually, yeah, Gromies, did it give the command? How did it, maybe is it hashtag? Glitch cam. That should be a hashtag glitch cam, right? Right. Sounds about right. Glitch cam. Love you too, Mother Nature. You're fantastic. Thank you for helping me with that joke. And, dude, that song, I was giving you a shout-out earlier. That song is freaking awesome. I'm going to listen to that again when I get off of here. Off of here. That's what we're working on. I love you guys too much. I can't say that enough. Because I really do. It's freaking awesome talking to you guys. That's why I love watching all your guys' videos and... And seeing you out there and talking with you. I love going into lives while I'm doing stuff. Because I'm busy. I'm doing things. I'm checking things out. I'm like clicking on stuff. And I'm taking care of projects. And soldering on electrical things. And I'm working on the church website. And other things for people. And doing research. And I listen to you guys. Because you're great. I love chatting with you all. Yes, yellow snow cones in New York. I just don't know if they're lemon or something else. Well, it depends on how close you are to the dog park, Christina. Yes. Gotta watch them ones that are close to the dog park. They have chocolate treats. 710 knows about that. <laughs> it's about a joke. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Hashtag glitch cam, grummies. Hashtag. It's gotta be the it's gotta be the pound sign. You gotta put the hash in your shirt tag for some reason. And then you have a hash tag. Hey, grummies! That's what we're going to do. We're going to make shirts that have a little pocket where the tag is, and you can store your hash in there, and we'll call them hashtag shirts. Genius. Fall Dog's on board with it. Smoked calamari sounds great. My plants are on a sea diet. They're like, no guano, please. Oh, that's funny. Fall Dog, you're hilarious, man. That is fantastic. Which reminds me, okay, <clears throat> we are going to show these... Um, where are they at? Pictures. They're okay. Ugh, maybe I shouldn't show them, because it's not like I'm going to give you guys a tour of Chicago. And it's not even very much a tour of what I did. It's like eight pictures. Some of them are doubles. They're pictures that happen to be in Chicago. And that's a thing. But I am going to show you out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you guys what I did first. And we'll do it like this. Like this, because it's magic. Rock. Shop, Illinois. Map. Show you guys, because that's an, uh, an important part of it. Where's the screen? There we go. Done. 
and show. So what I did is I searched Rock Shop in Illinois and I drove to this Rock and Soul and Rock Soul Love. I didn't go to Mid River Minerals. That's actually a place where you buy concrete. So <laughs> Rock Shop for sure. And I went to like Hi Ho Gems, nice guy there named Jeff, really cool guy. Rock Soul and Love, that's a great place. If you get it, wait, uh, Crystal Earth, that one. Okay, so this one is fantastic. If you get a chance, stop by there. Um, so then we get into the city, right? And there's Infinitius, there's Precious Possessions. Owner of Precious Possessions, shout out to her. She gave me a soda light. Yeah. Oh man, it's so cool. I hope she's having some good luck with the, the, the plant food because she put it on her tree inside of her. She has a tree in her store. You know, it's like an eight foot tree, but anyway. Um, Infinitius, rocks and juice, and uh, I made it up to All in the Rocks. I didn't make it to Dave's. They were closed by the time I got there because there's so much like you get there and then you find parking and then that's a thing too. Yeah, so anyway, um, let's see if I can show you the pictures switch over to where the pictures are nope that's not what we're trying to do we're trying to do this one Boop. and nope not that one it's the quality of the show that counts right right well done yeah, there's that bean. Nice and shiny. Just a little bit of tucking up them corners. Then you gotta put a final polish on it. I really like that topaz. We're gonna set it in a ring and it, it will be, because right now, right now it's right here, but very shortly it's gonna be in the shelf at Kloss Jewelers in the village of East Davenport. Which reminds me, I should show you guys Man Bag Bob. Anyway, this is a picture of, I swear this is Chicago. So this is a picture of the gas prices, it's $319, which wasn't even the most expensive. The most expensive was $389, but I was in the city all going like this and not hitting my microphone. I swear I didn't do that when I was in the city because I didn't have it on my face. That is a picture of those big like things on the top of the building. That's all I had time to take a picture of. This is... Um, okay, so <laughs> I, I parked where I saw a parking meter. Rita! Rita, it was a loading zone meter. I was ready to load my face up with some food. Not McDonald's. There was like a Mulligan's place there or a Mick Jaggers or McGrivern's or I don't know. It was a place. And I was like, all right, we're in a park here. But actually, I wasn't. And then I was like, loading zone, you know, there was no picture of a toilet on there. So it wasn't that kind of a load. And I wound up just getting back on the road and going somewhere else to park because I did not park in the loading zone. I got out of my car. I stood there. There's tons of people walking around. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this parking meter. And then it's like, you're in the wrong place, buddy. And I'm like, hope nobody's looking. And there's like 50 people looking. Anyway, paranoid. That was up in the air. I was trying to take a picture of the L train. L train, isn't that somebody's name? Cheers to that. Mm. I don't know what this is. It's a picture. <clears throat> That's a picture of the faceter. That is a picture of Dick Pond Athletics. Now, I want, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'm going to actually try and zoom in on it. Because I, I took, because, okay, for those of you who don't know, this is called Gemini Out with Jacob and Chess, because we play chess sometimes. i got to give you a chess update. Before it was called Gemini Out, it was called Invention Chat. Check the description below. Invention Chat. So, we're talking about inventions and marketing and growing business, etc. How brilliant is this? Who in here is not going to be able to, I mean, uh, you're going to be like, where's it at? Well, you know where Dick Pond Athletics is? It's, it's yeah, it's, it's, um, that's totally a thing. So, <laughs> anyway, that, uh, yeah. 
wait, I see myself. I knew you were there, Rita. Rita, you know, I went to the rock shops. I got to go up there for Dave's, two other places. And I also got to go up there for the flower shops. So, Rita, I'm going to be headed up that way. We got to meet up and have some uh, Gino's. Or wait a minute, is it Giordano's? I don't know, you tell me. Which one is it? Gino's, Giordano's, something like that? Streamlabs, man. I got to do something about Streamlabs. Come back to Chicago. You're not timed out, Rita. We got a party. Giordano's. Okay, so Gino's is the one that is, is fake or something. Man, I love their pizza. Folks, if you don't know, it's like I ordered sausage pizza and they had uh, crumble sausage or patty sausage. And I was like, patty. All right, we'll put some patties on that. One patty. One giant sausage si or pizza sized sausage patty. On a, a solid layer of meat. Man, that was a crazy pizza. But it was delicious. And it's worth driving up there just for that, let alone Rita. Dude, that is freaking awesome. That tall building in one of those pictures looked like the place I saw a ghost. I saw a ghost. We all, we all saw a ghost at Mother Nature's. It was behind her bed. It was like her plant. <clears throat> and it looked like a dude was like peeking out, but it was actually just the plant. So weird. It's freaky. Oh, um, upcoming features. We're going to be featuring uh, things that I had on a list. Oh, yeah. Um, so the London Life. we got to have the London Life on the show. we got to have... Man, I'm totally drawing some blanks here. we got to feature Honey Creek Gems and Vicky's. Vicky's Rocks Reading and Books. She's great. I love Vicky. We took her over a piece of Blue Appetite. Which reminds me, I gotta cut a piece of purple stuff for Jimmy at Honey Creek Gems. They're magical. I love Jimmy. J okay, Jimmy at Honey Creek, he gave me a deal on something, and I didn't even know it existed. It's called Blue Adventuring. What do you think of that, Mother Nature? It's Blue Adventuring. It's got white speckles in it, but we're gonna be polishing some. Oh, we should put some of this on the Tripendi, because I only got two stones picked out. Let's see if some of this works out. You know, Mother Nature, I'm not making the Tripendi points. They're showing up. And I got one and a half. No, no, no. I finished the second one. There's two of them done. I just got to final polish them. I mean, they're shaped. I just got to final polish them. Maybe some of this. It's kind of shaped like Illinois, isn't it, Rita? A little bit. Maybe it's the other way around. I don't remember. I don't even know what state I live in. It's a zone. Or is it a state of disillusionment? Likes it. Like 9,000 adventurine. Yeah. Oh, girl me. So I had this funny thing, right? <clears throat> I'm going to bust it out. I made this adventurine shaped. Or adventurine have a shape. It's a canoe shape. And that reminds me. Fall Dog. I'm going to play that rainbow topaz video again. See if it shows up. Um... What was I talking about? Oh, uh, so I made a canoe-shaped adventuring. So, Gromies, here's the wordplay. Let's take our... This isn't it. This is the other one. Where's the other one? Oh, it must... It's in a different set. Dang, it! I can't even show you. Well, it's this stuff, but I... The wordplay is, let's take our canoe adventuring. Because it's a canoe made of it. Adventuring. Anyways. Those are the upcoming features. <clears throat> oh, and we're going to be shaping that aquamarine too, so, uh, yeah, etc. But the point is, we got to get to the shout-out portion. I'm going to wrap up the show and give shout-outs to all you fantastic people. You're all fantastic. And you're all people. That's why i got to give you shout-outs. Shouting it out like we know what we're doing. We don't know what... Wait. We don't know what we're doing. Isn't that funny? I, The wrong side of the microphone. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. So, things and reasons. And I'm um, actually, for the shout-out portion, 
we got to change the structure a little. We're going to go back to Windows. Like that. And go like this. <clears throat> so you can see the beam. And we're actually going to close the chat switch is on a side thingy. It's uh, happening for a reason. You are incredible. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Mother Nature. It's a team effort. It's going to be really cool. This this looks like Illinois. It does. It's green. It's blue adventuring, and so is Illinois. It's it's um, it's a place to go adventuring, right, Rita? Exactly. Paul Dog, Fishbow. Thanks, bud. You guys are all great. You're so awesome, sweetheart. You are all sweethearts, and especially Rita. You are great. Thank you for that compliment. Adventure, adventuring with rainbowness, Christina and son. Okay, so would you like to do an interview with me, Jacob? Introduce people to your channel. That would be fantastic, Mother Nature. We gotta set that up. Let's talk on Instagram. Um, or I mean, here we could talk here, but uh, yeah, let's definitely do that. Cause um. I'm going to give people shout-outs and wrap up the show. So nice thing for you to say to me. You guys are awesome. This is far my absolute favorite YouTube channel. <laughs> Gromies, you're too awesome, dude. Always a juicy adventure. Sounds fantastic. You guys, okay, so i got to close this chat window and then, tr okay, so now I can reopen it and do the shout-outs. i got a shout-out to Bama Mudmower because Doug's great. I hope I'm not screwing that up. I'm so sure his name is Doug. So we, we like Bama Mud Mower because he, he works on mowers and not just mowers. Mud mowers. <laughs> That's totally a thing. I love saying that too. When I'm like, dude, I tried out this joke and it didn't get any laughs in the in the beer tube community. Didn't get any laughs in the grow tube community. It didn't even get any laughs in the mud mower community. <laughs> like mud because dude that's freaking awesome okay so i've never actually taken a mower mudding on purpose but i have taken mowers into the mud i've also gone through okay so i had this job and i won't get too far into it but i was i was uh working on a logging farm right timber mill logging farm timber frame i did a lot of maintenance on their equipment and so he's like he's like mud mower and his cute little baby there with a snotty nose He's <laughs> great guy. Good to see you, Doug. Thanks for coming by the show. Which reminds me, Christina and Son Ghost Squad came by the show, and I gotta do something about Streamlabs so it doesn't keep deleting people's comments for, during the the re the replay. The replay of it. Shout out to Christina and Son Ghost Squad. I hope you liked at least one of the jokes. If not, I'll have fresh ones next week. And so, love to you, and we're going to actually, we got to ring that bell. Because we ring the bell for people who come by the show. We love them. We love you. You're great. Thank you for talking to me. Because that's, I mean, that's, folks, that's why, I mean, I love you for reasons. But when you come by the show and talk to me, I'm like, it's like I'm sitting there. And it's like I'm, I'm sitting there at lunch at the table by myself. And you stopped by to say, hey, Jake. Glad you're here. Good to see you. Glad you're around. Keep being awesome. And I'm telling you the same thing. Glad to see you. Glad you came around. Keep being awesome. And keep doing great things like John. Which reminds me, John, don't... Let me forget. John gets tanks. And I give John tanks over at the General's channel. Anybody who goes over the General's channel, if they come over to my channel, you get some tanks for free. Which reminds me, there's that... Uh, what can you do? He is 100... Right? Something like that. 100. Something like that. Yeah, you can enter commands and they do things. And that's something that happens in reality. And I probably went right past somebody. Somebody important. For sure. Somebody named Paige. Paige Farms. Do you even... Oh, wow. He put up a Do You Grow Bro. I saw his, t <laughs> his truck video. Don't watch this. He's going too fast for reality. <laughs> yeah, it's a like, like, and the thing is, the truck's sitting so high up, I didn't even notice. It was like, I'm just like, enjoy, I'm, you know, sitting back, watching a video, enjoying the ride. Next thing I'll look down at the speedometer. I'm not even going to say. 
cheers to Paige. We're gonna have to watch his his uh, Do You Grow Bro video after this, cause it's getting time. We gotta we gotta go over to Mooks and um, no, it's it's uh, not Michigan's Mooks. It's the Michigan's Misfits. But shout out to Mook. He's a great guy. Castle Mook and the Misfits. We got uh, Goliath Grower and that other guy. What's his name? What's his name? Twisted Roots. <laughs> yeah. And 710 is oil upside down. Actually, which reminds me, 710, I got that picture of your stones. Total 9,000. Which, um, we need to talk about that. Because there's some cool stuff there, but I'm not going to show it on screen until we talk about it. Because, like, some of them, um, aren't very big, but some of them are pretty cool gems. Pretty cool. And we were talking by email, and I was like, we need to talk on the show. And I'm like, in the middle of trying to decide if we should talk about them or not talk about them. Because it's your business, too. So I'm like, 710, cheers and thank you for being awesome. I love 710. 710 has been around since the donut. Folks, Check out my Amethyst Kickstarter backer video. I totally chugged a donut, which reminds me, we need to get to things like that. Chugging donuts. Other things, if I can think of them. Which reminds me, Girl Me's Homies, Little Pipe Gang. Oh, I saw that video uploaded and I didn't click on it yet. I gotta click on it. Girl Me's Homies, you're awesome, dude. Cheers and thanks for coming by the show. I I, I always love talking to Gromies on my uh, my other channel too. We 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 game and we talk and and he's awesome. He's got some funny comments and stuff. So it's always like I'm always excited when when I see him enter a comment in the chats. That's why I appreciate him coming by and that's why I subscribe to his channel. I love chatting with Gromies. I hope I didn't miss anybody in the shoutouts like Perth. Why what? Why would I miss Perth? I'm not going to miss Perth. I could never miss Perth. Actually, I did miss Perth. I missed Perth because she took a break from social media. And that happens. I mean, sometimes you just got to take a break. But the fact is, she's back. Well, I don't know if she's back for sure, but she's back a couple times because we chatted up. And she helped with that joke earlier. And so it's all exciting. It's like, Perth, she's back. And... She's got back. Love birth. You heard me say that. <clears throat> what was I talking about? I wasn't talking about anything because we are giving shout outs to people who are awesome. I'm probably missing somebody. Not going to miss Fall Dog. Fall Dog's awesome. Totally came by the show. We got to ring that bell. Ringing the bell for people who come by the show. Ooh, wedding cake. Hey, Fall Dog, you know I plucked those off, those little sugar leaves, but those things are great for later. They're great for having tops. Um, man, those are sugary. Did you grow that? Dude, I am checking out your channel. Because I don't think I have yet. So cheers. And I, man, I swear you've come by the show before. How did I not check out your channel? That's why I love it when you come by my show, because it reminds me you're out there, and I gotta be like, yep, love these people. And I check out your channels. Because that's what actually what's gonna happen. I'm gonna eat some uh, dessert, and I'm gonna sit here and watch some of your guys' videos. That's, um, that's my Sunday evening plan. I'll probably see you guys out there in the, in the YouTube land. Not until I check out some of the content of the people who come by. Because that way I get to know you guys. I get to talk to you a little more. Like when Doug comes by, I can talk to him about his mower that he's working on. Ah, Rita. Cry, cry, cryonism. That means frozen? Frozen means cryo. And uh, ringing that bell means you're awesome. We love Rita. We gotta check out some more Rita. I actually I, I love chatting with Rita on live stream. She's funny. She's entertaining too. It's totally cool to like talk with you guys in real life and get to know you. And uh, actually, that's what we gotta do is meet Rita in real life and get some pictures. And she will be my first YouTuber 
that I that I first met on the internet and then met in real life. Because like some of the people that I know in real life come by my show, and I love those people. But that's like you know they they knew me ahead of time. This will this will be the other way around. So that'll be awesome. And I hope I'm not missing anybody because I'm trying to scroll kind of slow, but it's like zipping through here. Enter a comment if I missed you. If I didn't give you a shout out, enter a comment and be like, hey, you didn't give me a shout out, and I will totally give you a shout out. Cause and don't, you know, don't be modest. Make sure that you'd enter a comment and be like, hey. Whatever that was. Hey, Cody McEwen's here. Heading back to Koga Stream. See you around. See you around, Cody. Thanks for coming by the show. Thanks for being fantastic. Y'all are fantastic. Y'all are awesome. And that's why I hope to see you next week and every week at, uh, what? Set, set, 8 p.m. Eastern. Even though the card doesn't say that.